Hello and welcome to Knowledge Circle everyone. In today's video, we will talk about the types of errors in Java. Error is what? Error is a reasonable issue that is stopping the execution of the program. So we will see different types of errors in Java. First of all, we have to understand there are three basic types of errors in Java. One is syntax error or we also know, know it as compilation error. Second is runtime error which occurs at the time of execution and third one is logical error. So what is syntax error? These errors occur when the code violates the rules of Java syntax means the grammatical rule of this language is not followed and these errors are detected by the compiler during the compilation of the program. So different types of example of syntax error we will discuss further. Let's talk about a runtime error. What is runtime error? These errors occur when the code encounters an unexpected behavior during the execution. In this type of error, uh, the program is successfully compiled, but the time at the time of execution, these errors occurs. Okay, so what are the different types of runtime errors we will discuss? First of all, let us see logical error. The third error, which uh, is uh, always hidden in the program, which can't be detected by compiler and even the output is displayed but the output is not proper these are uh, uh, these error occurs when the program is executing correctly but the result is not what was intended these errors can be very difficult to identify because these are hidden errors okay so one by one we will see some examples of different types of errors first let us talk about the syntax error or compilation error so one example i have taken here this is what missing of semicolon yes we have to take care um, of semicolon because every statement when a statement ends in java we have to use semicolon so here what we can see that this is a, a a snippet a code where a statement that semicolon is missing you can see that uh, what will be put here after hello world there will be a semicolon so that is missing here so that's why there will be syntactical error here now let's talk about one more example of a compilation error that is assignment error what kind of error is here this error is because int x x is an integer variable and the value is assigned which is a string so this error is because the value is not compatible this variable needs a numerical value where we have given a string value let's talk about one more example of compilation error missing brackets you can see in the uh, following example uh, here public class main public static void main we have then uh, the scope of class begins what is the mistake here that if if needs uh, the parenthesis that is missing here here there will be we have to put what be, uh, parenthesis just before that that's what is missing here so this is also an example of compilation error okay so now let us move forward and let's talk about one more example of compilation error like a misspelled variables or keywords yes keywords are used wrong that can be also a reason for a compilation error okay so in the following example you can see that here the variable greeting which is declared the greeting variable which is uh, declared here here it is in uh, g is capital letter but when it is used here now it is in small letter so it will also generate error because java is a case sensitive language so capital and small letters are treated differently so this is one of the example of compilation error let's move forward let's see uh, one of uh, one more example type errors okay here you can see one example where uh, we have written string a equal to ria so there is a string variable there is another variable of integer type and we are trying to uh, find the sum of these two and that creates a problem because a string cannot be added to integer variable so this is what a type error so these were some examples of syntax error there can be many examples so few examples few common examples i have taken here let's talk about runtime errors some examples runtime errors which uh, is also you can say it's like exception that comes at the time of execution null pointer exception like string str equal to null a string which is empty 
and you are trying to uh, determine the length of uh, the string using the length method so if a string has no value no elements or a no character when it is null no value will be returned so that creates a syntactic uh, that creates a exception at the time of execution second example it can be array index out of bound exception it comes when uh, the elements are uh, when you you try to access that element which is not existing in the array here you can see that there is an array of name arr which whose size is 3 and you are trying to access the uh, uh, index 3 so actually what happens that if an array is having three uh, of three size then the last index will be two only and you are trying to access index number three means you are trying to access fourth element which is not existing so that's why there will be an exception the runtime error which is known as array index out of bound exception let's have one, one more example arithmetic exception yes division by zero when you divide a numeric value by zero uh, it generates a runtime error very common example it is let's discuss some logical errors see as we have discussed earlier in this video that logical errors are uh, the kind of errors which are difficult to detect because compiler will not detect it and if you have uh, written a long program or you are working on a um, big projects so at that time it's very difficult to detect these errors they are hidden in the program some common uh, logical errors which can occur i have uh, listed out here like defining the wrong count like you have to uh, you are you are using a counter variable in your program and uh, the value is taken wrong or it is uh, counted wrong and uh, it, that's why it becomes difficult to find out where the mistake is and the output never comes correct assuming a condition is true when it is false the condition is not true but we assume it as true wrong use of operator where we have to use multiplication sign we by mistake we have used division sim symbol maybe mistyped or something can happen like that fall through sometimes what happened that every, uh, in switch case we have to use break after every case sometimes we forget that if you forget fall through will happen fall through is what the compilation will be successful and even the program will be executed but your output will not come correct so that will come under the category of logical error logical error on, um, only and uh, misplaced semicolon yes sometimes what happened that we put semicolon after the loop so syntactically it is correct but uh, the loop will be terminated and the output will not come correct. So that comes under the category of logical error. Order of operations. Order of operations can also be, uh, if it is wrong, then the program's output will never come correct. Sometimes what happens that when we uh, use uh, math.sqrt method, like uh, math.sqrt method, and we try to find out the square of a negative number, okay, like minus 16. So that generates a um, logical error. What kind of error is that? We call it, uh, the value is generated is no, NAN, that is known as not a number. That is also an example of logical error. So there can be numerous logical errors. I have covered few here. So that's all for today's video. I hope it will be very useful to you. Thank you.